Everything right. Everything right. Everything right. Hey guys, welcome back to Sneaks and Geeks. I'm your host, Marimba Nolan, and today I'm here with Shauna Childs. She's been my friend for a really, really long time, and I'm super excited to have you on. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. Yeah, she inspires me so much, so I wanted to bring her on the show. Um, she's a dancer that started her own dance company, and yeah, you want to share with the audience? Yeah. How you did that? Um, so I am from Oklahoma. I moved out here six years ago, mm -hmm. and Marimba was the first friend that I made. I was. I remember that when I moved to San Francisco, um, and I had danced professionally for the Oklahoma City Thunder for yeah. two seasons, um, and I just felt complacent in my life back home. So I wanted to come out to the Bay Area. My dad was here, and see what was here for me. Mm -hmm. um, so. After a year of just kind of soul searching and figuring out what it was I wanted to do, I wound up auditioning for the Warriors and I danced with them for two seasons up until 2015 when mm -hmm. they won their championship. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you have a ring. I do have a ring. I should have brought it with me, but I didn't. <laughs> She's big time, big time. Um, so I did that. And um, in the midst of doing that, I was trying to figure out what is it I want to do long term. Mm -hmm. And um, I love dance. Um, I love high heels. I love empowering women yeah. and men and making them feel sexy and confident in who they are. And so Confidence was born. Yeah. Um, and we just celebrated our third birthday this past weekend. Yep. So, um, yeah, it's been a journey. It's been an awesome journey. But um, just kind of taking that time to figure out what I wanted to do, mm -hmm. that was a process. Yeah. But to see your dreams come to fruition is really cool. Uh -huh. We are in the Soma neighborhood. Mm -hmm. um, you can find us online, yeah. confidencefitness.com. We'll put that on the screen. Shameless plug. Yeah, yeah go ahead. <laughs> do all the plug-in. Oh, that's what you're here yeah. for. So I wanted to bring you on because I wanted to know what dancers like to dance in. Like, what shoes you wear? Like, do you prefer heels? Do you prefer sneakers? Yeah, like, so... I teach heels classes, mm -hmm. so I dance in heels most of the time. Um, and strangely enough, people, you know, they're like, what kind of heels do you dance in? And I'm like, well, I don't like to spend a lot of money on the heels that I dance in because uh -huh. I'm rolling around on the floor. Yeah. Like, they're going to get all scuffed up. Yeah, exactly. Same thing with sneakers, right? Uh -huh. You don't want to spend a lot of money on sneakers to dance in because they're going to get all messed up. Uh -huh. um, so my heels, I buy them all at Aldo. Really? Uh, yeah. Okay. And I don't spend any more than, like, 50 or $60 <laughs> on my dance heels, okay. like, it's just, you're going to screw them up. Right. So you might as well not, right? Mm -hmm. um, and then sneakers, I don't really dance in. I do teach, like, a 90s hip-hop class, mm -hmm. and I run a kid's program in the public school system. So obviously not teaching in heels right. during that yeah. time. Um, but I like Harachis. Harachis is um, my uh, shoe. They're, they're really so comfy. Yeah, 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 they're so comfortable. Yeah, I so it's like if I'm running in between classes, like mm -hmm. heels class to the next heels class or kids ca class to kids class or have an errand to uh -huh. do in between, like it's just nice to be able to just slip them on yeah. and slip my heels off and okay. be comfy. Yeah. Yeah. That's dope. I love Parachis. <laughs> what, what's your color you have? Like what color do you wear? I have the white ones and then these guys on my feet. Oh, the one that you're wearing. Yeah, I wore them today for you. Yeah. So you dancing in those today? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, since you like comfortable shoes, the today's featured shoe is a Nike Air Max 97, which I think you might like. Okay. Did I show you what they look like? Yes. I did. You did. Okay. You didn't so show me the. Yeah, I didn't yeah, show you. No. I didn't show you. Okay. So today's featured shoe is the Nike Air Max 97. Um, 2017 marked the 20th anniversary of the shoe that came out in 1997, and. Um, we're gonna bring those on. I'm a nice dude with some nice dreams. See these ice cubes, see these ice creams, eligible bachelor, million dollars. Is you rolling? That's why it's them. Okay. All right, so we got the shoes right here. Okay. Changelang. 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 <laughs> We're going to open them together. I okay. haven't seen these. No. She hasn't seen these, okay? For you guys, these are the Nike Air Max 97. We're going to open them together. Okay. You can tell me if you like them. If you don't like them, you can tell me too. Okay. 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 Bye. Okay, go ahead. Oh, wait. You said together. Together. Okay. You don't like them? No. <laughs> she doesn't like them. I don't like them. Why you don't like them? Um... Not just that. No, they're just like hella like bulky. You know, they yeah. kind of like remind me of like um, something my dad would wear on the treadmill. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna let you hold on to that one. All right. I'm gonna move this box out the way. All right. Well, 
even though you don't like him, we're gonna give you a little background on him. Okay. And share with you like the history or whatever. You can put him down if you want. It doesn't matter. Oh, whatever. I don't hate him that much. I can <laughs> okay. hold it for you. Okay. <laughs> Since you like comfortable shoes, this was the first shoe that actually introduced the full length um, air unit. Okay. So basically, it provides the shoe to be able to be really, really lightweight and. People like to see this, so they're like, oh, you know, it's comfortable, it's made for the runner, and it was inspired by the bullet train in Japan. Oh, that's cool. So this is why cool. it's like, ch -ch -ch -ch, got it, you okay. know? So we're going to put a flash on that, and you can see it a little bit later, but yeah, and this shoe also introduced the first hidden lacing system. Okay. So I do see, like that you don't have to tie your shoes. Yeah. It's nice. Well, you can tie your shoes, but you can't see the laces like on the side. So you tie them inside. Yeah, like okay. the hidden lacing system, you know, how you can't see the little, you know, like our like shoes. on the outside. Yeah, on the yeah. outside. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's that. You know, it's a classic. A lot of people hate it. They love it. You don't have to like it, but I think you would like these, yeah, the pink ones. I like the colors better. She likes the pink ones. So yeah. I'm showing her the Nike Air Max 97, the Ultra 17 LX, which is rose pink and gray. It's velvet and it's suede. Uh, so that's a little more your style. Yeah. It just looks really cute. We'll put that on the screen. So she says that she would wear that. I would wear those. You'd wear those. They don't remind me of my dad. No? <laughs> It's the blue. It's the blue. Yeah. But you know what? Um, when you put, like, if you were to take a photo in these or if you're running in these, they have reflector. And I think that's what makes these, like, dope. Yeah. Maybe they look better on men than they do in person. I just think I don't like the color. You just don't like them. Yeah. <laughs> but the pink ones are cute. The pink ones are really, really cute. I would wear the pink ones. Yeah. So, yeah. They retail for 170 bucks. Like, these cameos, they resell for a little bit more, even though she wouldn't wear those no. either. So she doesn't, Sean doesn't like the cameo <laughs> ones, the premium QS, I believe. But yeah, they're like, a lot of people love these shoes. I think they're cool. Nike Air Max Day is March 26th, I believe. Um, which leads me into our next topic, new releases, the animal print shoes. Let me show you what those okay. look like. Returning on Air Max, Nike Air Max Day, okay. which is March 26th. So if you want to cop those, you can cop those. Um, and we're not sure about the pricing yet, but I think those are really unique. If you're a sneakerhead, I feel like you're definitely going to get them. Well, I'm not, but you're I would not, probably get You're not, but you probably get them anyway. Yeah, because they're hella cute. Yeah, so those shoes are designed by the Japanese sneaker boutique Atmos, which features zebra, leopard, and tiger print. Oh, cute. Fire. Yeah. Fire. All right, so our next release for today's show is the Nike Air Force 270 Surfari shoes. They're black with a little bit of animal print also and orange. I sh let me show you a picture. <laughs> <laughs> so they look like this. But I think those are dope. I think they would look great on men and women in joggers. I definitely think the shape is unisex. Like, I would wear, unisex. I like the shape. I don't like the colorway. You don't like the colorway? Mm -mm. Yeah. No? No. The bright orange and the black? No, and the okay. red. And the red. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, you're right on the shape. They're definitely unisex because they come up to the ankle. I yeah. like shoes that do that. Well, and that's awesome if you're a dancer mm -hmm. because I always tell my students ankle support. Because gotcha. um, it's easy to roll your ankle, right. especially if you're new to dance, mm -hmm. like you're not doing it very often. Like athletes. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, that's dope. Yeah, and that's pretty much it for today's sneaker news. You liked it? Mm -hmm. You liked it? You liked it? Okay, what shoe would you take with you today? Out of all the shoes Those we talked about? Those safari ones. The safari yeah. ones? Or the, the, the pink and... Yeah. Yeah. Good choice. Yeah. That's dope. But I like the safari ones way better. Yeah. I love red. Yeah. So the close. red swoosh, I really like that. I'd rather. And they're zebra and leopard print. Zebra, leopard, uh, Zyger. Zyger. <laughs> Zyger. All that stuff. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's it for today's sneaker news. We are going to get into the geeky part of today's show, and I think you're going to really like it. Shorty made me feel like the summertime. Feeling like the summer's mine. So today's geek product is this Lifex light bulb right here, which is these lights up here. I don't know if you guys can see them, but it started in San Francisco and it was invented by an Australian who uh, put it on Kickstarter back in 2013. And they are LED lights which change colors, so you can use like Alexa, Google oh, Home, cool. your phone, Siri, yeah, and all that stuff. Yeah, you can have it mimic a sunset. You can just. You can do whatever you want. You can have a light strobe. That's say, so dope. It's dope, right? It'd be so cool for yeah. the dance studio. For the dance studio. Yeah. And you can have it move to the beat. Really? Yeah, so you can have the light set up to like the base of a song. That is so like, cool. So when you leave the house, it can automatically turn off. 
when you come home, it can automatically turn on. So okay. all you need to do is pretty much download the LifeX app, which you have total access to control the lights. And okay. All that stuff. Yeah. So where do we get that? So yeah, you can get this on Amazon. You can get this at Best Buy. Um, you can get it anywhere, really. It's fifty nine ninety nine, and I think right now it's on sale for fifty three. I'm on oh. Amazon. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna order. <laughs> She's like, I'm gonna get it right now. Yeah, it's really really dope. Um, I want the lights. So these are them, right? Let's see. Let's see. Yep, that's it. Fifty three ninety nine. It's on sale. Yeah, yeah, it's on sale right now on Amazon for fifty three. So you get one for fifty three. You get one. Okay. And so we put them in these lantern things. You can put them in any type of light fixture that holds lights. You get the app, you can control the lights. And so one of the pros is when you're not at home, you can say you're gone for a month. Okay. We're going to Europe for a month. We are. We're we going. are. I'm super excited about that. Do you want to talk about it? Yeah. Okay, where are we going? We're going to Europe. We're going to Barcelona, Croatia. Like, where else are we going? Madrid, Barcelona, Croatia, Italy, Italy. and France. And France. And back to Spain and home. Yeah. yeah. For a month. For a month. Yeah. So, for instance, we, well, she lives in an apartment and I live in like a house. Well, I guess, well, I have roommates. So, I guess if you live by yourself and yeah. I'm gone, you're gone for a month, you can turn your lights on every now and then. Just like, oh, so people don't turn know. On. Yeah. So, yeah. they know that you're not gone because there are literally people who watch and track when you leave your house and leave and go in and break in as soon as you leave. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's the geek product for today. Cool. Well, I have never heard about this until we decided to bring oh, it on the show. Did you just place the I order? I bought it. Yeah. Yes, right. that's dope. Shauna actually ordered this product, so she turned into a LifeX Life. I'm gonna demo the LifeX Life for you guys. I do wanna um, put out some cool, interesting facts. We gotta turn in red right now. But yeah, um, this actually lasts 22 years, which is stupid long because a light bulb in your home doesn't even last for about a year. So that's really amazing. Um, it shows that tech how much we are advancing. So this is the actual light. Um, I just want to clarify that for those of you guys who may not know. This is the actual light. It fits in any socket that you have, any fixture. We just put it in this china bowl thing. So the light is inside. This thing is not a light. So you put it in anything you want. LifeX also comes with a few other options like the BR30 lights for in certain ceiling setups. So they have the LifeX tile, which look like mini squares that you can kind of manipulate and move to your own design and you can put against the wall. So the light isn't necessarily hanging from a ceiling or in any type of fixture. It's more so actually on the wall. Another type of option you can purchase is the LifeX beam, a solid, it's not as flexible as the LifeX Z LED strips. Those are a little bit more flexible and you have the options to bend and move them and kind of shape them how you want to. These options are really great if you're into that kind of like, you want to decorate and create your own ambiance and mood and feel. So yeah, I think LifeX is really good for anyone who just kind of wants to, you know, make their home a little bit more moody and personalize their lights and have complete access. So yeah, that's the LifeX light. Gotta go that way, you get robbed for your records. Gotta go that way, boy, you not gonna be happy. So this is the game portion of Sneaks and Geeks. We've done a variety of different things like card games, whatever. But this time I wanted to do like a little ramen challenge with you. Oh, okay, so you pick card games. Yeah, and, and then you choose save things, and then with me, you're like, let's burn her face off. Yeah, yeah, okay, pretty cute. much, pretty cute. much. So basically, this is the ramen challenge. If you haven't heard about the ramen challenge, it's like these really spicy, spicy noodles, and you have to try to finish your bowl. And it's not gonna happen, sis. Yeah, so we're just gonna take, it comes with this package. We got this on Amazon, you can order it online. <laughs> And spicy noodle package things. Let me show you what it looks like. Okay, we're back. So that if you want to do this at home, you can. This is what it looks like. Okay. So we're gonna put the little spicy noodles in here. Oh god. Or spicy. That's red. What's it called? That looks like that is so red. Yeah. It's called the soup. That's this is called the soup. The soup. That's yeah, they, they call it, they're like insert or apply the soup base. Apply the soup. Apply the soup base. <laughs> Okay, so we're putting it Oh, in. that smells terrible. Does it? Yeah. I'm kind of nervous. Okay, I'm mad nervous, and you've been like taking this like it's a joke. You're like, okay, then the flakes. So we gotta mix it all yeah. together. Oh God, this looks like death. This looks so scary. Was this enough? It's not supposed to have water in it. It's not supposed to. I'm really scared. This is genuine fear. This smells like, this smells like death. 
It smells hot. Should we put these flakes? It also comes with these flakes, and I think we're gonna put oh. these also. Well, you have to. Yeah. Oh man. Okay. Shauna has to teach after this, so hope she <laughs> hopefully she doesn't get the bubble guts. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be Pray funny. for me, y'all. All right. All right. So let's mix it up. When yours is mixed, we'll take our first bite. Uh, mine's mixed. Okay, you ready? Yeah. We're sharing one pack. We should have like, did our own pack. No, we shouldn't have. Okay. I'm so scared. Spicy room and spice, spicy, spicy room and spicy room and challenge. Spicy ramen challenge. Here Cheers. We go. Cheers. Okay. Ready? This is what it looks like, guys. I'm not taking a big ass bite like you. No? Nope. What? That's like one noodle! <laughs> Alright, ready? Spicy noodle, one noodle. You better get a bite. I legit one, am only right. taking. Okay. Get ready. I'm so scared. Hold get on. a bite! Oh my, I'm scared. <laughs> okay. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Okay. That's not too bad. You lying? That's not too bad, actually. That's <laughs> really not that bad. <laughs> they lied to us. They lied. Did they lie? Wait, that's not that bad. This is kind of good. Mm -hmm. well, this is like, it's kind of hot, though. This is better than regular Does it, ramen. like, hit you up later or something? I hope not, because I got some choreography to make up and some classes to teach and I can't be rolling around the floor in pain. I'm waiting. Is it gonna... They lied to us. <laughs> they probably did it wrong. It's kind of hot though. Oh, that one went up my nose. That was a little rough. <laughs> Whew. It's kind of hot. Maybe you need some of mine. Is yours better? Well, mine has water in it. Yeah. Okay, wait, let me eat it out of your bowl. How about you just eat it in my bowl? Yeah, eat it? Eat it in my bowl. Eat it in my bowl. Eat it out of my bowl. Go ahead, eat it out of my bowl. Eat it out of my bowl. Now tell me, eat it out of my bowl. I hate you so much. Go eat it. Okay, wait, can I wrap the noodle around the fork first? Shana, it's kind of hot. Mmm. Maybe we weren't supposed to share. Yeah, because theoretically we split the sauce in half, right? Mm hmm I told you we should have mixed it in one bowl. You didn't listen to me. Mm-hmm. Listen. It. It's better than ramen. It's actually kind of good. Yeah. The noodles are like real noodles, not like fake noodles. Mm. I feel like everyone on YouTube has lied to you. Yeah, it's really not, it's that, really not that spicy. I was like fearful for my like, life. I thought it's kind of hot. Dad was right. gonna become me. I thought I wouldn't be able to teach my class. It's not that bad. If y'all like spicy food, you might actually like these. No, uh, it's kind of hot actually. Is it? A little bit. I feel all right. Okay. <laughs> Maybe, um, maybe you don't have, maybe. <laughs> I feel fine. No? Yeah, I feel good. Okay. You can have one more bite. Okay. Okay, try to get as much sauce as you can. Okay. It's hot to me. <laughs> but it's not like, oh it's my god, not my like, oh my god, god I'm dying, I'm yeah. dying. Mm. Not bad. It's not bad. It's not like dying. It's hot though. It's spicy. It's, it's normal. Spicy. It's a good spicy. Mm -hmm. If you like spicy food, it's good. Yeah. I would low key eat those. <laughs> All right. I thought I'm happy. You know. I feel good. I thought my taste my taste buds my gonna explode. Is all running. I'm like, wait a minute. I thought my mouth is gonna fall off. I feel good. It's not bad. It's hot though. I don't know. Is your nose running? <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah, okay. Well that's it for the um That's all. That's it for the spicy ramen challenge. It wasn't like that big a deal. My lips are kinda on fire. My lips are like numb, but it's yeah, like they're a, like numb. But like, it's, it's like, like a plumper. You know? It, it makes me be like like a natural quality injection. <laughs> like, What's your name? Look. <laughs> yeah. I don't, it's fine. Okay. Man, I'm upset. I thought it was gonna be really, really hot. I did too, I but thought. It's all right, it's good. That means, 
Yeah, we like spicy. Yeah, we Everybody on the internet is an is actor. Is lying to you? <laughs> Everybody on the internet was lying. Cause I promise you, I seen people like. <laughs> maybe they just don't. Some people can't handle spicy. Yeah, maybe. I love spicy. Food. I love spicy too. Yeah. yeah. Maybe we should put two sauce packets. Maybe one we should have. Can we do that for this one? No. <laughs> I'm cool off that. Cool. My lips are no mis. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that is it for this episode of Sneaks and Geeks. Thank you, Shama, for coming. Thank oh, you for having me. Yes, yes, this is my first. Well, she, I was her first friend. Lauren. This is my first friend. Besides, probably your dancers. No. Like your teammates. Um, I didn't have teammates when I moved here. Remember? Yeah. No. Oh, you know. Yeah. I took I a year off. Yeah. Yeah. You're so right. You, you, you were my first. Yes. My first friend. I remember. Yeah. Now we're going to Europe together. <laughs> 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 yes, I'm super excited. But yeah, that is it for Sneaks and Geeks. Thank you, Shauna, for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. I know me. you're super, super busy, so I'm happy that you made time for me. I will always make time yeah. for you. Yes. That's a real friend. Yes. I'm a real friend right there. Real friend right there. Yeah. But yeah, tell, um, tell them where you can get a hold of yourself and as well as if you want to take confidence classes yeah so if you guys want to dance just because you like to dance maybe you want to try feeling sexy in heels um you can come dance with us uh at confidence fitness uh www.confidencefitness.com instagram at confidence fitness or you can follow me at confidence is key yeah and that is it that's it yep okay pretty much it now y'all can watch the boopers or whatever <laughs> Because we probably got some. But yeah, that's it. I'm your host, Marimba. Thank you guys so much for watching Sneaks and Geeks, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace. Now all you need to do is download the app, the LifeX app, which controls the lights. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. Ready? <laughs> okay. LifeX, Apple Home, Siri. You got that. Pages document? All right, we're good. Okay. Okay. Wait, no. Wait, no. <laughs> Wait, no. Wait, I wasn't ready. <laughs> <laughs> How do you close this, girl? Let me see. I got there it. You go. There we go. Look at you. Life X. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> My bike could have been sick of rats. Met a cute girl the other night. You know, nice ass, nice breath. Called up to your job twice. I was with a girl